Hello again, everyone. This is the technical analysis of the stock market video, Trade Wars. So we're going to take a look at the Dow this weekend and uh, check in on one of the uh, key indicators I look at and uh, check in on the dollar index, uh, the China FXI large cap uh, ETF, the emerging market ETF, EEM. And then we're going to take a quick look at uh, Shanghai Composite and the, Dom and the uh, German DAX. Uh, the trade wars are affecting all of those countries. All right, let's uh, take a look at the Dow Industrials here. The Dow was up 119 points on Friday. The trading range was a little tighter than the last several days. Uh, it continues to break down below this trend line that was broken on the 19th. And uh, right now, the wave count I've got in here continues to hold. Uh, I'm watching this low here on the May 29th low and watching to see if that gets taken out. And if this low down here on uh, and when this low on May 3rd gets taken out, uh, as this starts to happen, uh, the alternate count, which is really uh, a move to the upside, the alternate count is that, you know, possibly there's a triangular type of pattern like an A, you know, B, C, D, E type of thing. That would be the alternate type of account of, of count in here with a a one more wave to the upside uh, from this from that type of formation. I just don't right now I'm just not seeing it. And right now the Dow is not playing out that well, okay, for, for that pattern uh, in here. I mean you could still say, well, maybe we've got, you know, some kind of you know one, two, and then a one, two, still working our way higher. Uh, but right now, everything still is reinforcing this move to the downside, and I'm sticking with this. Um, let's see. I want to take a look at uh, the high-low index. When you look at this high-low index on the New York Stock Exchange, this, this back here in January did not confirm the highs. This was uh, January 16th, January 24th, and then look January 26th. That's when the markets were peaking, okay? But the move really was losing steam in terms of the strength of, of stocks hitting 52-week highs versus lows uh, in that move. Well, the same thing started to happen in this move uh, back here in May, May 10th into June 6th, okay? Well, when was May 10th into June 6th? Well, that was right from May 10th into June 6th into this high. So this move right back up into here happened but it was happening on weaker strength in the in the stocks, okay? And then now we're getting this breakdown, we're breaking down this trend line. So that's just one more thing. I mean, we're seeing several different things that are showing up uh, in a similar type of manner, similar type of flag being wave, uh, you know, waving right now. Uh, and that's the reason I look at those types of things. Okay, so that is the... Uh, the indicators, take a look at the weekly chart for the Dow. The Dow was down 509.59 for the week, two consecutive weeks down. But the key thing to me that I'm seeing here is that we closed below the trading of the last two weeks. I think that's fairly negative uh, in here, uh, especially that very bullish type move that happened here the week ending uh, June 8th. And uh, we didn't really get any follow through out of that week. And then now we're closing below the, the low of that week. So now, again, we need follow through. So if it's going to continue to sell off, we got to see follow through in here uh, on the weekly chart. All right, that is the daily, weekly, the indicator. I want to take a look at the dollar index. The dollar index has been acting very strong lately, coming off that February 4th low, uh, pushing up. I think we are in a fifth intermediate wave here. We fourth wave bottom down here. I think we're in a fifth wave moving higher. Uh, and right now I would say we're looking for minor wave one and we don't, I don't believe we have it yet. So we're looking for minor wave one and then a minor wave two pullback. Okay. And so right now within that minor wave one, I think we're working a wave count. Uh, right I, now, my preferred is that we're doing some kind of a flat in here for a fourth wave, kind of a sideways push. If that's the case, I'm expecting us to get support at this uh, right in this area here where uh, this A wave uh, bottomed. OK, so that's what I'm watching for. And that should mean that we push above what has been fairly strong resistance in here 
at the 95, uh, just a, slightly above the 95 level. Where is that? The 95.15, I think, is 95.16 is where I got the dotted line. But it's in that area, 95 to 95 and a quarter kind of thing. Had that big reversal candle down on Thursday. Now we close below it on Friday. So I, I am really expecting at least a move down here to this lows down to like 93 and a quarter. All right, so that's the dollar index. Been acting very strong lately. And of course, that's affecting uh, a lot of things, a lot of things in the emerging markets. Let's take a look uh, at FXI. This is the large cap, China large cap. And this is a weekly chart. You can see the W down here telling you it's a weekly chart. Uh, the blue line is 10 week. The blue gray is a 21 week. Uh, this is exponential. This is simple. And uh, right now it looks like it's rolling over. It's broken this two year trend line and uh, it has broken support also. So th that trend line, that major trend line break and the support all happened this last week in this move to the downside here down two dollars and 61 cents. This is very similar to the Hong Kong Hang Seng Index chart uh, because these large caps, even though it says China large cap, a lot of them are tied to uh, stocks. Um, this is kind of keyed into stocks on the Hang Seng Index on, in Hong Kong. All right, so that's FXI and the Emerging Markets ETF is also breaking down, breaking a similar type uptrend and shattering support in here at 45 down to $1.31 this week. So this is negative. Looks like it is rolling over also. And when we talk about the trade wars escalating, of course, we showed the Shanghai Composite last week. Well, look what it did this week, down 132 points as it continues to fall out of bed. This is the lowest close on the Shanghai since back on the weekend in June 24th, 2016, two years ago. So uh, pretty dramatic moves happening. And then, of course, you know, uh, the, uh, there's been talk lately where Trump has been tweeting, talking about tariffs on European car manufacturers. Uh, specifically, I remember hearing about Germany, and I'm sure that's not e exactly helping the German DAX. And the German DAX was weak this, uh, was weak this week, <laughs> down 430 points in here. So again, we're watching to see what kind of follow through do we get. Uh, this is the lowest close of the last eh, couple of months since back here on April 27th. So uh, we'll watch and see what kind of follow through we get. But, you know, now the trade wars are, you know, they're heating up with Europe as well as Asia. All right, that's it for this weekend. If you felt like the video was helpful, uh, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button to the YouTube channel. And if you could think of one person who would benefit from the video, share the video with them. And if you want to get more insight, education, and trade ideas, just click on the little my little picture on the screen there, and it'll take you over to the joehinches.net and become an insider member. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you on the next video.